Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the Farm and Pastor's Wife. I'm so glad you're here. If you're new, my name is Leslie. Thank you for joining in my kitchen down here on the farm. I am so tickled to have you. Once you watch this video and you like it, I would love for you to hit subscribe, hit that bell notification, give me a thumbs up. And to all my viewers, welcome back. I'm so glad you're back. And you guys know how much I love and appreciate you. The greatest way you can help support my channel is by sharing my videos. I would appreciate it so very much. Okay, today we are making a video. It'll be the second video, a standalone video for this one particular item. And it's back by popular demand. I know I have a lot of new subscribers who may not have seen this video. I'll tell you more about it in just a little bit, but we're making our two ingredient biscuits again. Hey darling, can I tell you what's been on my mind? Sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light. Hey darling, we could get out of town. See the beautiful world around, wanna see it now. And get in that car Leave a little note and we'll drive real far Let's get out, we can leave this city Let's drive to the open air Yeah, the country is Okay, so this is a very special item for me um, back when my video, my YouTube channel was just beginning to grow and gain some traction a little bit, I made a video on two ingredient biscuits and lo and behold y'all, it absolutely took off. And that video is kind of the video that put my channel on the map a little bit. So, um, I have only made one standalone video for Two Ingredient Biscuits. I've never uh, redone it. I have made them in like a full meal video and made them that way. And so that there are other videos out there on my Two Ingredient Biscuits. But I wanted to do a standalone video. Several have asked for me to redo it, do it again. The first time I did it, of course, it was back when this kitchen was blue and it doesn't look like it does now. So um, we are going to make two ingredient biscuits. So let me grab my two ingredients and I'll meet you back right here. Okay, everyone. So your two ingredients that you are going to need are self-rising flour and heavy whipping cream. That is it. On my first video, I did an extra sprinkling of salt. Your self-rising flour has salt in it. Um, I did a sprinkling of salt just because I liked a little extra, but I made sure it, everyone knew it was optional and I got scolded and said, that's three ingredients. So I'm not going to put the extra salt in this time. Just so you know, you don't have to have it. It's only a two ingredient biscuit. But anyway, all you need, that's it. All right. So let me put my apron on. I don't want to get my Valentine's sweater. We're almost at Valentine's Day, so I don't want to get it messed up. Plus, I got my new apron here at, oh, it's a little, comes down a little too far, um, at St. Martin. Went on our vacation. Got it there, so it's my first time wearing it. But anyway, so all you need to start is... I need a measuring cup for my heavy cream, but all you need for self rise your flour is two cups. So I'm going to measure out two cups and I'll be right back. All right, there is your two cups of self rising flour. Let me grab a measuring cup for my heavy cream. Okay guys, I get asked a lot of questions on my old video. Can I use regular milk? Can I use buttermilk? And I would say no, 
not without adding, you would need to add lard to this. If you add a little bit of lard to this, you could use your buttermilk or your regular milk. But this has the fat in it that is needed in this um, recipe. And so since we're making this recipe, it's a two ingredient, that's the ease of it all. Now, sometimes, let's talk about heavy cream. Well, hang on, let me pour it in here. I'm gonna start with a cup and a half. <clears throat> okay. These measuring cups are so cool. There's the, it's a cup and then there's a line in the center for um, the half. I'm gonna leave that out just in case we need it some more. Grab me a wooden spoon. And I'm gonna stir this up. And while I'm stirring it, I wanna to talk to you about the heavy cream just a minute. Okay, so, um, what was it? Oh, the price of heavy cream. I know right now it's not the cheapest thing to buy. Um, but like everything else, I'm sure the, the um, prices are gonna stabilize. Uh, I did see last night, you know, we've been complaining about eggs. Oh my goodness, and I did see last night that um, egg prices have stabilized. Now, uh, my dough is pretty wet, so I'm gonna have to incorporate just a little bit. It's a little wetter than I like it, um, so I'm gonna have to incorporate a little bit of self-rising flour just on my board. But anyway, I know this is not the cheapest thing in the world to buy right now, but have you ever been making like a southern meal where you're frying chicken, you're making gravy, you're making mashed potatoes, you only have half a gallon of milk, you've used a bunch of milk in your gravy and you've used some milk in your mashed potatoes and you get ready to make your biscuits and you're like, ah, I don't have any buttermilk and I'm out of milk, I can't make my own buttermilk, what do I do? If by chance you have heavy cream, this is a great time to use it, not to mention that these biscuits are just a nice splurge every now and then because they're so good. They are so good. Okay, so I'm gonna tilt you guys back down to the cutting board or whoopsie, took you a little far that way, didn't I? All right, let's try this again. <laughs> Sorry guys. <laughs> okay, there we go. So I'm gonna sprinkle a good amount of self-rising flour on my board because my dough's a little wet. So you may want to start with, you know, I don't know, a, start with a cup and a fourth of the heavy cream. And it could take up to two cups, actually, and it, a lot of it depends on the humidity of your day. But this is a really good dough it's just a tad bit too wet. Now, let me tell you, this will have a totally different consistency. If you're an avid biscuit maker and you make biscuits all the time, this is gonna feel very different. Very, very different. So let me just scrape out the rest of the dough. I don't want to leave any behind. I'm gonna send, um, I don't have my taste tester here and so Caroline is going to come. We're going to actually go to the grocery store. She's going to come and be my taste tester. And then we're going to take all the biscuits to the boys because they love Bubbles biscuits. They love them. For those of you who may be new to my channel, I have two grandsons and they call me Bubbles. So uh, I'm also going to sprinkle a little self-rising on top just so my hands don't stick to it. And now we're gonna knead it a little bit, just a little. And like I said, it is a very different filling dough, um, very different. Okay, so I like to kind of fold mine over a few times to give it layers. That's how you get some layers in it, just by folding it over on itself. Okay, I think that's good. And it didn't take, see, I got all this flour over here that didn't go in, so. It doesn't take much. Okay, I have an old pan. Let me grab it. Now, I'm gonna set these 
biscuits next to each other because if you set biscuits next to each other, they kind of climb up each other and it makes a fluffier, taller biscuit. Also, when you cut out your biscuit, you don't want to twist. When you cut it out, just cut down and up because if you twist it, that seals the outside of that biscuit and it doesn't rise as well. So, okay, here we go, up and down. And that's the thickness of my biscuit, probably a half an inch. So, um, and I'm just gonna roll this in that. And like I said, I'm gonna put them up next to each other because I want them to climb up each other. Y'all, these are absolutely the best biscuits in the world. Y'all know I love my Formula L and I use those because they're, you know, I mean, they're just easy and they're good buttermilk biscuits, but these are right there with them. Now, if you want to see the videos on my Formula L biscuit and my three ingredient biscuit, which is just buttermilk, self fries and flour and some lard, I will, um, because let me tell you, you don't have to use the baking soda, the baking powder in your biscuits, because if you use self fries and flour, that stuff's already in there. So, I mean, if you have a recipe for biscuits that's tried and true, don't change but you might want to give these a try and you might want to give my three ingredients which is using self rising flour and i'll also link my formula l biscuit video i know formula l can't be found everywhere so um that's a hard one for everybody to make but if you are in the south and can get a hold of southern biscuit mix formula l uh, I do have a video on that, but all you really need is the recipe on the back of the bag. It's foolproof. Now, some of these, like right here, they're going to be kind of ugly. <laughs> we'll, we'll try to make them pretty. Here we go. That's a little better. I like the smooth top. And what I'm going to do with this is I'm just going to roll it into a final biscuit. Okay. All right. So I have my oven set at 425, um, anywhere between 400 and 450, you know, depending. I do 425. I just do in the middle. So we're going to put these in and I'll see you when they come out. Okay, everyone, can you see who my taste tester is? And look, we're like the Popsy twins. And it wasn't planned. It wasn't planned. So, okay, I'm going to get these out. Let me go ahead and tell you, they don't get as brown. I mean, you could put it on broil, but there's no need because they're so delicious. They just don't get quite as brown as your traditional biscuit does. But you are going to be amazed at how tall these biscuits are. They have rose beautifully, so... Look at that. Look at those biscuits, y'all. They are so good. Okay, I'm gonna plate one up, get her some jelly or butter or whatever she wants, and we're gonna let her taste them for you. And then we're gonna take the leftovers to Jamie and the boys. Okay, everybody, I told her to crack it open so you guys can see the inside of it. Oh, look at that biscuit. I want it so bad. It's good and hot, and she's got some apple butter here she's gonna put on it. I'm gonna slide the camera back just a little bit. <clears throat> Probably doesn't need apple butter, but I love apple butter. Mm. Nothing beats a homemade biscuit. <laughs> and these y'all are so good. I mean, these are so good. Only two ingredients. It doesn't get like if you can't make biscuits, you can definitely make these biscuits and they're so good. 
take a bite of one without anything on it and just give them that there's enough salt that just let them know that it's flavorful just as a biscuit. Mm -hmm. Buttery. It is mm. so good. Buttery. And did you see me put any butter in there? Absolutely not. You need that you, heavy cream. Did you top them with butter? No. No. I didn't even rub butter on the top, y'all. Um, mm. That heavy cream, the fat in the heavy cream is needed. And it just makes a delicious biscuit. And y'all, I'm telling you, they wrote, they doubled in size, um, at least. So if not, let me measure one. Okay, guys, I just measured one of them and it was two inches, two inches. And it only started out as a half an inch. So it more than doubled in size. So um, Caroline has devoured her biscuit. <laughs> So anyway, there you have it guys, the best biscuits in the world. <clears throat> Be sure to give them a try. I know heavy cream is uh, a little pricey, but when you want a really, re when you are having company or something and you want a really foolproof, delicious, fluffy, flavorful biscuit, this is the one you need to try. So, okay guys, she's gonna get another one. She better hurry because we're taking the rest to the boys. All right guys, we're going grocery shopping. I'll see you back um, tomorrow. So remember, if the grease is hot enough, you can fry anything. Bye, y'all.